So I'm thinking before we even get into more gameplay and stuff like that, with all the like EA early access um, content from the people that were at the capture event, we've got like Futhead and Futwiz uh, are updated with like really, really, really high value, not even high value, but like a high number of like good cards that I just, I'd like to check through. So I want to see the ratings. I feel like not many people have covered like the lower end ratings. And when I say like lower end ratings, I mean, just like the non hype, the non, I, I I'm at fault of it as well. Like I, I checked out all, uh, icon cards and all the special new cards and all of that stuff out there as well. Uh, Gareth, thank you, bro. Appreciate the support. I'd like to look into other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go by major league and see what cards for FIFA 18 have been released. Like, I wanna see what Usman Dembele's card is looking like. I wanna check out, like, actually look at the stats of Rashford. Mikel Antonio apparently has a sick card. Uh, Renato Sanchez. I wanna see the cards that, like, we're all gonna be looking for at the launch of FIFA 18, which is happening literally, what is it? It's the 14th today, so it's that, the, the launch of 18 is, is, in terms of early access, like, what? Is it a week away exactly? It's literally a week today. Early access, we get a week today. So I want to do that through the league. So we're going to look at the Prem. We're going to look at the Bundesliga. We're going to look at stuff like that. And then if I miss any of like the, the sick cards, the sick lower end cards that we're all going to be trying to get at the early part of the game, let me know and I'll try and look at that as well. And then maybe in a little bit, we'll get like one more game um, of the demo and stuff like that too, or a couple more games of the demo because I find myself enjoying that quite a bit as well. So let's, uh, let's get into it first. So I think as long as they have it set up, Click Premier League and it should be pretty standard. Okay, great. So we've looked at all of this stuff, the top 100 stuff we don't need to look at again. Romelu Lukaku, the one to watch is. Um, it's all the way down to 84, I believe. So from here, essentially, from Mane down, we get to look at some new cards here. So uh, I'm only going to look selfishly at the stuff that I care about. Uh, if I miss anything again, call me out on it. And uh, as I go, I'll try and go back and check them out. So for example, Riyad Mahrez, how's he looking? Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. We don't have in-game stats of him yet. A lot of these cards do have in-game stats though. So uh, hopefully we'll get to look at quite a few in-game stats from the lower end cards. So it looks all right. I don't think that's going to be a card I'm necessarily going to want to pick up though. I'm not going to lie. Let me turn down the music a little bit here. Um, Firmino, Yaya Toure down to 63 pace, hey? Four-star weak foot. Ooh. That just in general doesn't look like... Uh, it's still not a bad card, I suppose. Do we know what his work rates are? Does it show? Medium low work rates? Hmm. Yeah, that's not that's not particularly fantastic, uh, I would have to say, for sure. Um, yeah, Eric Bai, by the way, got a really, really, really nice boost. Like I said, me and him, we're boys. He forgave me, I apologized. I told him I love him. And we're boys. Um, I think he deserves better pace than that. Let's be real. Again, I don't understand why EA have such a big issue with 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 rapid defenders actually getting a rapid rating genuinely i don't understand that like, like like varan is the biggest one for me i find insane when he literally in an outright sprint pace with pierre emerick Aubameyang out sprinted him and they decide to give varan 78 pace outright sprint race with messi with suarez with neymar varan out sprinted them and yet you know they don't give him the proper pace. I, I think I think Bai is the exact the exact same thing. Nevertheless, he'll be very very heavily used. Let's uh let's let's not even deny that. Mustafi, yeah, yeah don't not not too worried not too worried there either. Zuma has 67. Yeah, he's coming back from an injury though, right? Uh, well, coming back from an injury or had an injury, so maybe there's a there's a reason for EA to do it there. Let's have a look at 67. Maybe every single player's pace has just been absolutely pulverized. Just, just outright. Deli Ali, we know. Oh, how's he looking this year? Holy. You know what? If I, if I'm not going to be able to afford Kante right away, I really like Gay. I really do. I like Gay a lot. Stats are great. He'd be covering my covering my back line really, really nice. Yeah. I, dude, that's a sick card. Shadow on him and he's good to go. Okay. All right. So there we go. We've got the poor man Road to Glory CDM before we can afford Kante. Um, holy God. I mean, I, I guess you just toss a shadow on him as well. Shadow or like a powerhouse. Powerhouse, if, if stats still work the same, 
boosting, defending, and passing would make him such a well-rounded... Dude, physicality, I think this year, the more I play the demo, physicality is... I mean, physicality and pace, obviously. Um, and then stats that fit that exact position, right? So, like, for a wingback, physicality, pace, and then defending is, I think, the only thing you want to look for. Um, but, my god, what a card. What a card. I was thinking I'd try to work towards uh, just Kyle Walker, but... But I don't know. There's plenty of choices at right back. We're almost spoiled this year for right backs. Van Dyke, 73. Ooh. What's his work rates? I don't think his his work rates are oh, high medium. That's a nice card, though. Uh, in comparison to previous years. Okay, let's go on. So let's let's get into the let's get into the nitty-gritty here. Hamid Salah. Alright. Kyle Walker is an 83. That's interesting. Um, I think deserved. God. That is a card as well. That is a card as well. <laughs> okay, probably still gonna go for Kyle Walker. Wish I could have seen his in-game stats, but hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Giroud, oh, Anthony Martial still looks like an absolute animal. He literally looks like uh, Thierry Henry's icon card. His, uh, his early icon card. I like it. I like it. I'm most hyped up. Oh, God. By the way, did anyone see Hyungman Son play last night versus Dortmund? What a baller, man. Like, honestly, Annette brought this up yesterday. Like, he literally, you know how we all call him Sonaldo, number seven, you know, all that stuff. He literally, Net pointed out, like, he runs like, he runs like Ronaldo. He does that, like, Ronaldo, like, run on his toes kind of thing. Dude. Yeah, we're probably going to pick him up pretty early as well on the poor man road to glory. This card, though, for the first month is probably going to be like 30k, maybe more. Decent, though. Decent for sure. Raheem the Dream, I'm not too worried about. Sturridge, I saw uh, Liverpool fans all over all over my Twitter feed losing their minds with these, uh, these, these, these ratings. 76 pace for Sturridge. Uh, anyways, I don't care. I, I, I don't really use Sturge ever. Hey, yo! Um, Antonio Rudiger got himself a nice little boost as well. That's a good card, too. What's it? His work rates were medium high at previous years. Still medium high. That's a nice card. Oh, my God. The Premier League just have some has some absolutely solid players all over the shop. What I like about that so much is that we, we have so much variety. I know most of you guys as well are probably going to build a Premier League-based club through Ultimate Team. I know I'm going to. Um, and hell yeah, at least we got a lot of, uh, a lot of options. I mean, Rojo's still a good card. That's not bad. 82 rated though, so he might be a little bit... I like that though. Decent dribbling and, and passing as well. For sure. High medium work rates. Eh! Maybe not all that interesting. Um, this guy, at least in the demo, is fantastic. Bakayoko is, is sick. Very, very sick. Nicely well-rounded as well. What are his work rates? Medium, medium. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I like, I, like, I like him quite a bit. I feel like he'll get used quite a bit early on in FIFA. Oh, there's our boy. How's Dembele looking this year? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. He's looked very usable. Very usable. Another card I'll be hunting for early on. Four-star um, uh, skill moves. Two-star weak foot's a bit worrisome. Is he still medium-medium or did they change his work rates? No, still medium-medium. I mean, I'd like to see his stats just bumped a little bit, but I'll take the 85 dribbling, 80, 84 physical. Shadow on him or, hmm. Would I go shadow or would I go engine? I'm not sure. Anyways, that Dembele looks looks sick to me. Uh, Nick, is that a clone shirt? No, this is, uh, when I was in Germany, uh, I picked up a bunch of like FC Köln. I think they're playing today. I think they're actually playing Arsenal. I saw the coolest video on uh, on Twitter today of them marching through, I think, part of London or something. I think they're playing Arsenal or something. Um, but uh, when I was there, I, I, I never had any, uh, uh, what do you call that, fandom for Köln at all. But like, um, FC Köln. But, dude, when I was there, man, the, the huge, uh, let me show you guys this. I don't know if I have a proper, God, sorry, this is going off on a tangent, so I'll stop real quick. My Instagram page, like the trip to um, Cologne. Oh, the Band of Bros. I miss the Band of Bros. So fun hanging out. Okay, so this church here, right? Or this cathedral, I guess you'd call it. Bateson making out with my face. Don't let Bateson ever prove it wrong, chat. 
and or I guess viewers in general. If he ever tries to deny that he loves me, just go back to this picture and send him a picture of this, my dudes. Um, anyways, so this, uh, this cathedral is so massive and it's like, okay, like, I, I, do I even, I don't want to get into it. You know what? I, anyways, but I was born into a Roman Catholic family and stuff like that. So I'm no longer, I guess I'm an atheist at this point in time. Nevertheless, um, walking into a cathedral like this and just seeing the grandioseness of it is one thing. But was like what was surreal to me is this was a game day when when me and Zway it was me and Zway that went to this cathedral I don't know I think Nep and Toby were sleeping or something like that um, but when we went I walked in and was just blown away by the like magnitude of the place and not only that but walking in it was a game day for Colm and the entire cathedral I kid you not the entire cathedral was filled with Colm fans in all their kits. And I'm talking like by the thousands, like there's, there's like, uh, uh, benches to sit all the way through the front of the cathedral and then all the way through the sides and all the way through the back of the cathedral. They were filled with Colm fans and they all had their, ki their kits on and then all had their scarves draped all over the, uh, the cathedral things. And they weren't doing it. They're literally just sitting there just like contemplating life, I guess. And like, just, you know, getting into a good vibe before going over to the game and stuff like that. Um, and I just, I was just like, dude, what, what awesome fans. Like, it's just, it was so cool to see. Um, so I had to go buy a bunch of their, their gear and stuff like that. So I don't know where the, I don't know where the hell this story came from. Where did the story come from? Oh, someone asked if, what, if I was wearing a Colin shirt. Okay. That's what it is. Anyways, back to the ratings. Um, should have got a home or away Jersey. No, nah, I mean, I don't know. Kind of feel like a plastic. I mean, I already am a plastic, but if I'm wearing anything other than like a Madrid kit or specifically a Leeds kit, I kind of feel like a plastic. I guess I am, you know, so maybe we just, maybe I should just like embrace the plasticness. Ooh, Dyer. He's medium high. Huh. Also not bad. I like the passing stats. Gilfie Sakerson? Uh, we're going to Arizona for the trip. <clears throat> Zerd and Shakiri looks all right. I just, I just feel like wingers with like low end pace. Um, you know, not, not overly interested in. It's the same thing like Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez is like through FIFA 17, as he got more informs and got better pace, like his card wasn't bad. I think I ended up testing out his like 88 rated inform from this year with maybe almost 90 pace and it was a good card. Uh, but early on, I, I just, I can't see myself that interested. All right, let's start looking at some of the dudes. Ooh, Danny Rose up to an 82. I still think he should have better stats than this. Danny Rose is a baller, man. Anyways, um, Leighton Baines, still there, thereabouts. Davinson Sanchez, I think, unless he's got still high medium, he's got medium high work rates as well. I think this could be a good card to use early on. Dude, do you ever, like, really though? Really EA Sports? Like, really, though? This guy's another Rafael Varane, man. 71? 71 pace. 71 pace on Davinson Sanchez. Have they never watched this guy play ever? This guy might even be faster than freaking Rafael Varane. I think he should be minimum of 80. 82 pace. Weird. I don't know what the hell the stats guys at EA were doing when they put some of these cards together. It genuinely makes no sense. Anyways, moving on. Um, there's Christensen back. That was Nep. I remember Nep brought this up. Like, where the hell did this guy come from? Um, where was it again? The Bundesliga. Borussia Mönchengladbach or whatever, right? Anyways, nice little boost for him. I think he started out last year as like a non-rare silver. So props to him. Moving up the ladder. Per Mertesacker. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Tw Does he even have feet even? Does Per Mertesacker even have feet even even? I don't think he has feet. Anyways. Sacco, Lovren. Bates will be upset with this rating. Um, the Rooster. 
Still a usable card. Centrally, I don't think you'd have to worry too much about that 68 pace. I, st I still think he'll be uh, he'll be decent. Wilfred Zaha, is he still 4-star? Four 4-star? Four star? Four star, oh, wait. 4-star, 3-star? It's not bad, though. Hector Bellerin's. Have a look at him. Yeah, I, I think I think Bellerin was the guy that I was I, I went for right from the start last year and even overpaid for his, like, Futmus card or whatever. I'm not doing that again this year. I'm going to try and work towards either uh, Valencia or a Walker and probably use the, th that, like, that setup all year, I think. I'm not going to really worry too much until maybe team of the season about upgrading my my wingbacks. Unless it's an investment. If I go pick up, like, an inform uh, as an investment, then maybe, then maybe, sure. Alonzo? He just can play anywhere, though, right? So, I don't know. I don't think... I. You know what's funny is I'm trying to think now. I'm like, what wing back am I going to go on the left side? There's that Chris Smalling uh, drop. 81. I feel like he's not going to be used anywhere near as much as he was this year. Like, Smalling was the meta center back this year. 77 pace on Alonzo, I can't deal. It's just weird. I think the pace stat is like the biggest like thing, ar argument causer. Yo, Aurier, again, watching in the Dortmund uh, Spurs game yesterday. Baller, man. Baller. I mean, honestly, I know that he's decent. Obviously, PSG was decent, but dude, he's a baller, man. Really good card. Uh, 78 defending again. I'll probably stick to Walker. Um, yesterday, I, I thought Walker was still at Spurs. Thank God. Thank God nobody witnessed that. So we're all right there. Shadow on Aurier. This is a little bit disappointing. As far as I know, he's down to a four. Yeah, four star, four star. High, high work rates as well for Gabriel Jesus. A sick card. Last year, this was like one of the meta cards as well. So, so, so overpowered. Um, and all around great stats, I would say, for an 81. But it would have been nice for him to keep the, the five star skills. But I don't know. You know what? Having said that, it's probably accurate four star, four star. From the last little while, at least. I would say that's pretty accurate. I'm sure most people would still like to see him on five star though, but strength should be way higher. I agree with that as well for, for Jesus. I mean, even before he went over to Man City, one of his like biggest traits, anyone that watched him play and stuff like that was like how strong he was and how like tough he was to get off the ball. Um, again, maybe the injury, maybe, you know what I mean? I don't know if that, that like dictates something at all. Ooh, Ogbonna. Let's see what he looks like. It's not bad. That's not, that's not bad at all. Jamie Vardy? Holy God. At least he still has the pace. What's his work rates? High, high as well. I just, I hate high, high work rated cards. There's nowhere on the field that I would like be happy with high high work rates maybe in a 4231 as one of my cdms maybe i'd be okay with that as long as the other cdm is like a a viera or a, a conte or something like that you know like if raja nangolin has high high work rates pairing him up with viera as a dual cdm setup sure sure that's cool um let's have a look at keen here too that's a nice card as well actually medium medium work rates too Oh, it says right here, dude. Oh wow, I didn't I didn't actually know that. Or notice that, at least. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Darmian, McCarthy, still a good base card to use. Danny Wellbad. Uh no interest. Mr. Bertrand. I don't know who I'm using at left back. Is Patrick Van Anholt? Like where where is Patrick Van Anholt? Is he still at Palace? Yo, I hope Patrick Van Anholt is still decent. Oh, Kolasinac, they actually made a... What the hell were they doing with his Team of the Season card then? EA, my brain. Nah, Kolasinac, I wouldn't use either. Haha! <laughs> I think this is the first player in history to lose... What was it? I think I was watching Filthy Fellas. And, um... I think Scribs? Who brought it up? It was like Oxlade's one of the maybe the first player ever to like lose four nothing or four nothing and five nothing for two separate teams or something like that. Um. Anyways, good stuff. Lamella, eh, no interest at all. Remember when I was so hyped when Lamella was coming into the Premier League when he came from uh I don't I don't remember if Spurs bought him from Roma or where they ended up picking him up, but man, FIFA 12, the Serie A Silvers using Eric Lamella and El Sharawi and stuff like that up up front together. Oh. 
So good. Not so much anymore. There it is. There's Rashford. Holy God, dude. And four-star skills. Oh, this is... This is going to be the new meta player that is going to destroy everybody's soul. I promise you, my dudes. And, it, I mean, it's not that it isn't deserved. I, I, I think he fully deserves this. Um, th this card. But this is going to be the card that ruins everybody's weekend league. You're going to be smashing controllers to pieces when your 96 prime Ronaldo misses seven breakaways in a row. And then your opponent's Rashford puts away two breakaways and beats you 2 nothing with two shots on target. You know it's going to happen. You know it is. I'm going to try and pick up this card early as well, man. Although, unfortunately, he's going to be so expensive for the first month. <clears throat> Rashford feels good in the demo. He does. He does. I still like Lukaku more, obviously. But, um, yeah, Rashford does feel strong in the demo. That's true. De oh, man. <laughs> Another one that Liverpool fans have lost their mind with. I agree with you at least on this one, Liverpool fans. What the hell have they done to Emre Chan, dude? Oh. What have they done to him, man? Uh, 15k for Rashford at the start. I would go higher than that. I I'd say 30 to 40k for Rashford at the start, honestly. Yeah, J that's a good point. 79 rated Emre Chan, okay? Scroll up a little bit. Get ready to really get angry. As much as I'm okay with this, where is he? Where is he? I love me some Jack Wilshire, okay? I I've been a fanboy of Jack Wilshire for a very, 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 very long time. I'll blame one of my best friends from high school. He loved Jack Wilshire back in the day as well, when he was like still a promising talent that everyone thought would be amazing before all the injuries and then the other extracurricular BS. So I've always been a big fan of Jack Wilshire, but now Jack Wilshire 81, Emery Chan 79. <laughs> EA are banter lords, okay? EA are absolute banter lords. You can't deny that. Mishi Batshuayi had a good bit of banter between EA all, uh, on Twitter as well. Um, was it today or yesterday? <laughs> He's really Batshuayi is really upset with this uh, with this with this card. There it is, Antonio. Yeah, it's not a bad card either. High high work rates again, kind of ruined, but four star four star. Um. I'm so confused, man, with Antonio in general, like, where he gets used. Wasn't he used that, like, wing back for, like, quite a bit of last year? Anyways. Whatever. Moving on. Jermaine Defoe still is... Like, Jermaine Defoe is just a guy that just keeps on keeping on. You know? Fair play. How, how many teams in the Prem has he played for over his career? Like, 75? Maybe, maybe 90? 95? Awesome, though. Uh, Kurt Zuma, 67. Sofian Bufal, meh. Emery Chan, that's crazy. The cock blocker, only blocking his own his own cock at this point now. Arsenal fans, how do you guys feel about Conquelin? Flop? Disappointed? Oh, man. Oh, Mangala. Oh. Eh. What are his work rates? medium high that's not a bad starter center back either you know left footed two um with a four star weak foot yeah that's a decent starter that might be one of the guys i look to get early uh for the four man road to glory was it called very good at one point yeah for sure yeah mangala's always been like just a decent uh decent card stones didn't score stones score two goals yesterday in the champions league as well so he's starting to, starting to, things are starting to like roll his way. Fair play. Still not a great card in my eyes. What is work rates? High, medium, no thank you. Yeah, two goals, dude. That's awesome. Mendy. Ooh, Mendy might be my, okay. What about Mendy? Dudes, what do we think about having Mendy as my wing back, my starter wing back for uh, the Road to Glory? Yo, thank you for the sub, London. Appreciate you. Ozzy, thank you for the 22 as well. Appreciate that, man. Dudes, this might genuinely be just a Premier League look right now. Because this is like... this. Now I'm starting to think of the, the road to glory here. More than anything. Um, Danilo. Fair play to Danilo. Fair play. 
Uh, Lorente. Holibas is another one. Still usable. So I'm assuming Van Anholt is maybe just not... Maybe it wasn't packed. Uh, Inspirited Telly. Thank you for the sub as well. Appreciate you guys using your Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime subscriptions on my channel. Much love, dudes. Thank you very much. Yannick Bolasi, still a baller. Still a baller, dude. Ooh, at right mid as well. Could be worthwhile uh, as an early card. Yo, Yannick Bolasi. Still going to be expensive because he's five-star skills, but that's a nice card. I mean, uh, it's a nice card, and then until you're worried about actually scoring or passing it off for someone else to score, and then you have to deal with that. Yeah, maybe not. Kieran Gibbs. I'm 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 trying to look for a proper left back here. We might go through this again and just look at left backs. Chupo Moting. Remember him, man? Two was it two years ago? Was he, wasn't he like god level in when he was in the Bundesliga still? What is it? FIFA 14, I believe. I remember Finch. Back in the good old days of Finch, before he like had a face cam and would rage like crazy and just had the funniest videos ever. Not saying that he doesn't still, but like I remember like FIFA 12 or FIFA 13, maybe even for FIFA 14 Finch was just the best thing ever, man. Um, and I think he used to love, he used to call him Choo Choo Train. Dude, good old days, man. Sissoko, still a decent card. Nkudu, all right. Uh, the snake himself. I don't think Kuyate gets as much... Um, I might get hate for this, but I don't think Kuyate gets as much love um, in terms of his rating as he should. Anyways, still probably be a decent card. I feel like a lot of people will end up using this pleb just because of that pace, but I, I, don't, think I'll, I don't think I'll touch this card on the road to glory. That 67 defending is would, would probably um, hurt my soul. Yeah, Leroy Fur. Dude, Leroy Fur better have. Where is he? Where's Leroy? Where's Leroy? Oh, there's Renato Sanchez! Yo, there's Renato Sanchez. I know we were looking for him. That'll be a card that. I, I gotta say this, and I've said this before. One of my tweets made like the Lad Bible or something like that, or the Bro Bible or whatever on Facebook or something. Be because I was watching the uh, last weekend or the weekend before, maybe. And I think it was, no, last weekend was international. Was, no, it was last weekend. I, I happened to be laying on the couch on Sunday morning in Canada, watching Newcastle Swansea. And it was one of the worst games I've ever seen. It, just the quality of football was God awful. Uh, and one of the worst players on the pitch was this guy. I've never seen someone play so terribly. I know a lot of people got offended by me saying that, but like he was god awful. Whether or not he had fitness or not, he was so bad. So insanely bad, dude. I've never seen a player like just look more uncomfortable on the ball, lose possession, try and dribble a little bit and like fall over or have the ball, like him run with the ball, but then the ball stays behind and he like loses the ball. It was, it was, it was tough to watch. I'm not gonna lie. On the flip side of that, in that game, other than the yellow card that Leroy Fur took, Leroy Fur is a baller, dudes. He is. I know that you guys think that I just fanboy over him and he's like an old school um, meme or god level type of player for my YouTube channel back in 13 and 14 and stuff like that. But like, Leroy Fur is still a baller to this day, man. He is. Like, wa watching that game, Leroy Fur was making plays, doing beautiful passes, sending players in on net and stuff like that. Leroy Fur deserves more love and respect than he gets and in fact is Leroy Fur even in this there's no way he's lower than Renato Sanchez okay so Van Anholt is still an option maybe picking up Van Anholt as our left back is the early option 70 defending still isn't great his card's a little bit worse now unfortunately and then I guess we just work up to Mendy I can't think of anyone that would be better or maybe we go with Danny Rose I don't know Nathan Ake, and then we're then we're into then we're into silvers. And don't worry, that's not all the golds. It's just the golds that like have been uh, have been marked up. So real quick, I just want to look at uh, position left back. Obviously, obviously, if you want to pace pace whore it up, wait, where's Moreno? There you go. You go Moreno or Van Anholt. But I think a nice mix between the two is either going to be Mendy or Danny Rose. Now, Danny Rose is going to be expensive, I think. And all, honestly, probably Mendy is. Damn, you know what? I think we work towards a Danny Rose. Toss a shadow on him. 
go from there. Yeah, I guess just the left side of our team is going to be a little bit weaker in terms of pace. Unless I hybrid in some some other, like, pacey wing back. Luke Shaw? I don't see Luke Shaw in here. That's a good point. Is Luke Shaw in here? Darmian. Yeah, Luke Shaw isn't in there. Interesting. Okay, so maybe he wasn't packed. Maybe he wasn't packed. All right, let's let's uh, let's go have a look real quick then. Outside of that, let's jump over to... I want to look at Usman Dembele real quick. So I'm going to jump over to La Liga Santander. Um, all right, so we've seen all of this stuff. I'm going to just buzz through a little bit of this. Uh, I saw Nep tweet about this as well. Look at this card, for God's sakes. How is this? How in the dick butt? Sorry for swearing. It's not even really swearing. How is that an 84 rated card? Sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Um, Carver House still, still looks like a sick card. There he is. Oh my god, and he is a right mid again. Five star, five star to start the year. Oh, we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to hybrid in Dembele again into our team. Even as his 83 rated card. I think I'm gonna have to hybrid in. Do we get a one to watch Dembele? I hope so. If we do, I'll probably buy it. I will. I'll probably pick up the one to watch Usman um, and then keep him until probably team of the season. French is easy, dude. Kante, Pogba, good to go. You know, obviously over time. I'd have to go maybe Bakayoko and someone else or something like that uh, at the beginning. Could even go, could even go the route of like Kante and whenever I can afford the cheapest version of Vieira, you know, could do that. That'd be pretty sweet. Martial, Mbappe, Dembele. Yeah, that would be a good that would be a good setup as well. Come on, man. How can you not want to use this card? Uh, genuinely, it's the only thing I care about from um from La Liga. There's no other player I give a crap about. Obviously, Ronaldo and Messi and Suarez and Ramos and Bale and stuff, those are sick cards. But like genuinely, even like one of the first cards and First things I want to do, it's it's all about Dembele for me. I'm just not really that interested in anything else. Having said that, though, let's jump over to... Wait, where's Leek? Uh, hello? I want to see... Is Mbappe in here? I think he got a really, really nice card. I'd love to see it. Look at this card. Look at that card, for God's sakes. Look at that card. And he will get a... You know EA is going to give him one to watch as well. They would be foolish to not give Mbappe and Usman Dembele um, one to watch cards. Wouldn't be too hard doing that either. You know? Front line of Anthony Martial, Mbappe, and Dembele. And then link it all up with a Pogba and Kante or Bakayoko and someone else to start with or something. Four star, four star as well. What a card. What a card. <sighs> please, FIFA 18. Please, just come, come. Please, man. Wesley, Wesley's still usable. He's got that five-star weak foot still. Uh, the pace hurts my soul, but Wesley's still usable. Yeah, and same thing here. Like, I'm not really all that interested in anything else. Obviously, Neymar's a bit exciting, you know? Um, Verratti and stuff like that. Draxler as a winger, I'm not that interested in. Danny Alves is still going to be decent, but what are they? I don't know. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm, I'm, I just sound like a broken record. Uh, Lamar still balling. Balde Diao. You know what? There's another one. If you're going League uh for sure. Sari getting a nice bit of respect and upgrade too. That's nice. All right, let's have a quick look at the... I want to have a quick look at the Bundesliga. As, oh, Calcio A2. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, is there really anybody in the Bundesliga that I care to look at? Not really. I'm trying to think in my head. No, not really. Let's go Calcio A. Uh, Vidal and stuff like that and Boateng and stuff. We already know their ratings, and those are really the only ones I care about. So all of this we've seen. Uh, Dries Mertens. Let's get ourselves down to the 84s. Here we are. High, high work rates. I mean, I even think Koulibaly deserves a better card than this. That's still a sick card, actually. To be fair, that's still a sick card. Pace-wise, I think he just deserves a little bit more love and respect than that. But anyways, what are you going to do? 
Um, all right, let's roll. Let's roll down and see. Ooh, Hawaii's not bad. Costa could be a bit interesting. Xiao Mario still looks like a decent card. That's not bad. What's his medium high work rates as well? Nice. Shiro Immobile, Raul Albiol, Quadrado still looks sick. The Serie A is probably again going to be my secondary team, like my fitness team. Florenzi looks nice too. Doesn't Florenzi like. He has like. What is it? Doesn't he have like a horrible injury again? Still has a good card though, so at least EA haven't ruined his card even though he's been dealing with injuries for a while. Oh my god, that's all we got. Brozovic. Yo, did we see. Hold on, did I skip past. Uh, let me go back a sec. Did I skip past. Miranda. Oh, Perisic is a left mid. Okay. That's too bad. Five star weak foot, four star. Still going to be a great card. Um, we'll, we'll wait again until he gets himself a, a, a central card, if you will. Lil Beckham! Thank you for the sub, man. Welcome to the family. Manila still looks like a decent card. 80 pace. How are you going to give Manila's 80 pace, man? And then give Sanchez a 71 pace and Varane a 78 pace. EA Sports. My brain. Oh my god, I thought I thought that said guacamole Bonaventura. Kinda disappointed it doesn't. Um, just here for charity. Thank you for the four months. That's gonna be very applicable soon, dude. We are getting so close, dudes. 29th of September can't come soon enough. 40 hour charity stream for cancer research. Boys, getting really, really hyped up, dudes. Um, the charity pages are set up. Uh, they're available. They should be available in the description of my YouTube videos, but they're also available obviously in the stream chat uh, at the bottom of the stream. That's all updated. We also have so far our only official sponsor on the channel, G2A, of course. You know, if you want to go to them to get yourself free, not free, cheap MSP PSN codes to buy yourself FIFA points using Nick at checkout for a discount. A little bit of a plug, but fair play and love to G2A. Uh, they've got something amazing planned to support the charity stream. So uh, we can maximize the donations directly to Cancer Research UK and the BC Cancer Foundation. So G2A has been the one and only sponsor I have on my channel since basically the very beginning. And uh, they're, 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 they're stepping up real big for this charity stream. So I'm very, very excited for that and very honored uh, by what they're trying to do to help out uh, our attempts to raise money for cancer research so just wanted to just wanted to put that in there i'm very very excited uh oh did i not check out pulisic yeah i'll check out pulisic in the bundesliga real quick sure let me just get through the little bits here adair looks sick i gotta say as like a starter card adair looks like he'd be really really decent atani probably splooged when he saw this card i know atani's been an adair fan for a little bit el should always still look sick still looks very very nice Four star weak foot, five star skills. Dude, that's gonna be a sick card. Honestly, early on, that is also gonna be a sick card. Still gonna be expensive, but an Adair El Shirawi setup looks decent. Oh, Zielinski looks good too. Uh, Lil Beckham with 10 months. Okay, new sub, and then. Oh, wait, no. 32 32, and then 23 23 hits us with the 10. That was my second account. Free Amazon Prime for students. Equals more subs for Nick2018. Save them for the charity stream then, my man. If you do. Because the charity stream, new subs, resubs, uh, any type of sub during the charity stream is going to be donated. I'm taking all that money. Not just the money I make from Twitch, but I'm taking all of that money. Even the money that Twitch takes, I'm going to then be topping it up and donating it all to Cancer Research at the end of the stream. All the ad revenue, all the shirt sales from the F Cancer shirts and stuff like that. All of that stuff's going to be donated to... Um, uh, the BC Cancer Foundation at the end of the stream. So if you do have the free stuff, uh, feel free to, to hold on to it until the charity stream. That way it goes to charity instead of uh, instead of direct to me, my dude. God bless though, bro. I appreciate that, man. Kolarov, Lieva. Oh, damn. Unlucky! Um, so Hacken has a left mid, huh? God, man. Just not interested at all. At all. Karsdorp, though. Ooh. Four star weak foot as well. Ooh. Saucy little card there. Obviously because of the pace. Asamoa down to a left back. Juan Jesus, who I always confuse with Gabriel Jesus, awkwardly. Still a decent card. Dalbert, dude. Yo, this low key, the Serie A, man. 
Do we start off the poor man road to glory with the Serie A then? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Might. Oh, Jordan Lukaku Romelu's bro is a baller as well. Holy shit, dudes. Might be worth. I don't know. I just. I always like sticking with the Prem, but maybe just having a low end Serie A team, like a base gold pace abuse Serie A team, might be a good idea. Brazil French hybrid incoming. Could do. You know what? Fitting Dalbert into a Prem team wouldn't be hard at all either. Um, Jordan Lukaku wouldn't be hard either, really. Get Dembele at left center mid, and then I guess then I'd be forced to use company or Toby Alderweireld or something along those lines to get Lukaku in there. So yeah, you know what? I guess I guess there's easy ways to get certain decent players from this area. Um, the Chiglio still alive. That's good to see. Wow, he was a sick card back in what FIFA 14. All right, so that finishes it up. I don't I don't know if I've missed anyone else. I feel like a few people will be yelling and screaming for me to look at like players like this. Um, now wait, is this FIFA? Okay, so that's the FIFA 18, right? Yeah, FIFA 18 Eto. Trying to think if there's anyone else. So have a look at him. I'm not that interested in him. Let's check out Pulisic. Pule... It's Christian Pulisic as a right mid. Not a bad card. Four star, four star as well. Oh, my dad wrote back on his birthday. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> it's so nice. I love you, dad. Uh, all right. Decent card. DeAndre Yedlin would be an interesting one as well. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what what's going on with his card. Oh, okay, never mind. He hasn't been packed. Uh, Keita. Let's see. Is Keita? Yeah, he is. He's in there. 83 rated Keita. Still not a great looking card. Not gonna lie. I'm not that. I'm not that interested. Um. Oh yeah. Good point. Apparently, I don't know if Futhead has done this or not yet. But let's see, championship. Okay, the EFL championship, yeah. Oh, dude. Apparently, there's a ton of Leeds United cards. Okay, let me jump over to. I think Fudwiz has a little bit better of a data database on like the the obscure players. If I go Fud eighteen, Fudwiz, please. I just big big up to you guys. Fudwiz, FIFA eighteen players. Oh, okay, maybe I was going the wrong spot. Here we go. Um, God, it's just not. I don't like the search functionality that Futwiz has. I'm not going to lie. Championship. Oh, that's not that bad, actually. Leads. Leads. Uh, search. See? That's cool. For some reason, Futhead has, like, all the sick stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it's too bad this latest, the final... Uh, FIFA 17 team of the week has La Soga as well. Leeds United undefeated boys still destroying the league right now. Uh, top of the championship as well. And La Soga got himself a inform. Um, where is he? Oh, maybe he just didn't get packed. Yeah, I mean, yo, Samu says as well looks like a decent card. Just like every year, we'll put together a Leeds United team. I'll try and use it for like five games in the weekend league and then I'll want to cut my dick off. And I'll proceed to uh, going back to my OP Premier League setup. I have this like, this like dream of being able to use a full Leeds United team through an entire weekend league, but I just I can't bring myself to do it. It just it, it kills me. So, anyways, I'm pretty excited, pretty damn excited for all these new, uh, specifically Serie A and Premier League cards. Let's get. Uh, I do feel like getting a game in though, so I'm gonna do. I, I normally randomize to see what I'm going to play with, but I, there's a few players that I want to test out here. Here we go. So I want to like test out Rashford. Um, whatever, we'll play versus Atletico. We're on Legendary right now. Um, not that Legendary is very hard, this FIFA 18. I'd like to show you guys a few things as well. There's a lot of new um, things in FIFA 18 that you can do that I didn't really go over. Uh, so might as well do that real quick here too. And this is one of the ones. So quick subs are very, very, very cool uh, and nice to do. So let me get my formation set up first. And then we'll go uh, we'll go from there. In fact, I'm probably going to build a squad of like starter stuff. Um, well, st st starter-ish players. So Matic, I think, could be someone you could hope to pick up relatively early. Fellaini is another card that I think still be usable. 
uh, Valencia, Bailly, Lindelof, Luke Shaw is another card that I think is still going to be usable and uh, relatively cheap. I think Smalling's going to be relatively cheap. So that's this is maybe not like a starter, uh, a full-on starter team. But it's close, right? I'm trying to think. Like, what what type of a what type of a cam can we use? I guess Juan Mata, maybe Herrera. Maybe Juan Juan Mata instead of Mkhitaryan. I think Mkhitaryan is going to be very expensive. I think I mean I mean I think Mata is going to be expensive as well. Screw it. We're going to use Pogba for this. So it's going to be like a starter-ish type of team of I think relatively overpowered players plus Pogba. Okay. Yeah. 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 Really, I just want to see, after seeing Rashford's card and Martial's card, um, I really want to see how those two feel in-game, more than any other card. So we'll keep them on stay central, press the back line, the cam will go stay forward, CDMs are cut back and stay back, cut passing lane, sorry, and stay back, and then wing backs are just stay back. Uh, I need to figure out what I want to do for my wide cams in this formation, going into weekend league and stuff for FIFA 18, but outside of that, that's what we're going to roll with. So... The quick substitutions, obviously very, very new. Um, the the way you take penalties and free kicks has changed, so we'll try and show you guys that if we can. Another cool thing as well is you can now control the goalkeeper uh, in when someone's in on net. So you know where like someone's running on net and you concede like a, um, a low driven shot and you get mad because your goalkeeper maybe doesn't have the intelligence there? In those positions now, um, is De Gea in goal? All right, I, whatever, De Gea's in goal, big deal. Um, I totally forgot about De Gea being in goal. But now, you press, I believe it's the right analog stick down, and you can cause your goalkeeper to commit to the other side. So if you're noticing that your opponent's coming in on net, and your keeper's hugging their near post, and you're like, I know this guy's gonna shoot crossbody. Previous years, you'd just be upset and concede. Now, you can click the right analog stick, and the goalkeeper will commit to the other side. So you can play this like bait game with your opponent and hopefully your opponent doesn't also then know that you're going to do that and then shoot near post because then you'll be more likely to concede near post. But that is a thing that you can do, um, which is very, very cool. Also, big up to EA for listening to the, uh, to the community and saying they were insane to have no touch dribble on the LB button, which is also the same place where, uh, let me, I'm going to boost the, uh, the work rates. Like in previous years, the, 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 the telling your player to go on a run sending your player on a run was the same button as the no touch dribble so you'd always lose you start losing possession when you're trying to send a player on a run so they've changed that lb is now send your player on a run no touch dribble is rb now so moving up the field when you're pushing your analog stick up the field whichever way that is and holding rb you'll do no touch dribbles and when you're pulling away from the opponent or away from where you're going it's drag backs and stuff like that which is very nice i think a very very good touch from ea and a, a much more sensical way um, to put... Okay, so we'll go tele-broadcast, then go custom, and camera height up to 20. This is how I play in FUT Champs, if anyone's wondering as well. This is the... Uh, that's my that's my screen. I think it looks way better. <clears throat> oh, and then another thing that uh, I, I think a lot of people just don't know about as well is tackling with B now has different uh, options. Tackling in general, if you hold LT and try and just get in the guy's way, eventually your player will kind of get their body in front of the ball and take the ball away, so you don't even have to press B. Uh, uh, the other way as well is while holding LT, you can tap B, and it's like this soft um, tackle, like a, a half-ass tackle, if you will. And then if you hold B, it's a way stronger tackle. Uh, it's not as strong as a slide tackle, but it's still like a much stronger... Okay. Uh, hey, Georgie! Thank you for the sub, dude. Long time sub to everybody else! First time sub, I believe, to my channel. Much love, dude. Does it on the 50% off month. I respect it, Georgie. Thank you for the support, man. Still don't love you as much as George Costanza, unfortunately, but hey. Dude, what the hell? There we go. Um, thank you for the support, though. I do appreciate that, man. God bless. Alright, let's get into this. See how these dudes feel. Go. Matic. Palacio. Looking good this move. Valencia. Pogba. That's lovely. Ooh. Let's go. Get out of here, Atletico. Let's run to the fans. Come, come, come.
Come, come, fans! Let's celebrate! Yeah! That's so cool, dude! So that's another new thing as well. Being able to celebrate with the fans. Sometimes when you run towards your home side, wherever that ends up being, the whole crowd setup, like, collapses towards you. That's really awkward. That's all Atletico Madrid fans that celebrated with me. Interesting. All right. Uh, cool, but not very accurate, <laughs> I would say. Did I get a yellow card there? Imagine getting a red card for that. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what are the other new additions? Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, so, uh, driven crosses and stuff like that are different now, too. Uh, there's no longer a triple tap cross, which I like as well. Like, I got used to spamming the, the triple tap to get the low driven crosses to work. But they were really annoying to do. Um, and in a high pressure situation, a lot of the times, you wouldn't get the triple tap cross off before you got tackled. So now, there's the cross... If you double tap, it's the low cross that's like header height. And if you want the driven cross, it's like the driven pass. You know how driven pass is still RBA? So the, it, now the driven cross is RBX. So I think like the button layouts and the, the options and stuff like that, EA have reworked very well in a much more uh, sensical pattern, if you will. So fair play to them. Yeah, you should get a yellow card. Yeah, but EA... I mean, that would be hilarious, dude. Over-celebrating gives you a yellow card. I would love to see that. That'd be awesome. I really gotta pay attention here. Oh my god, that driven pass! See? So that was me holding the... Uh, and I could have easily given away a pen there, so I'm lucky I didn't. That is a... What in the hell? What is happening? That should be a red card. Two-footed slide tackle from behind. Oh no, dude. If the refs do not give fouls for stuff like that, I'm going to be yelling and screaming during the weekend league. Alright. There we go. Nice little pass. So LTRT is still a thing. It's just not as OP as it was. Uh, and neither is LT. I think a lot of people have figured that out already. Look at that pass. Arcus! Come on, bro! You know he won't be doing that in Ultimate Team, dude. I'll be missing shots like that with my prime Thierry Henry. And everybody in the Weekend League using Rashford will score every single chance like that. That is not indicative of what's going to be happening in FIFA 18. I can promise you guys that. Oh, let me show... Oh, I think it'll be gone now as well. But really, really cool. I don't know if it'll be available on Ultimate Team. But the instant replay is really... S oh, let's see. Wait, how do you... How do you... Oh, okay. So it's Art uh, LT. Let me show you guys this. Okay. So, what's really cool now in, in replays and stuff like that is you can see where your aim is going so you know how oftentimes i'll uh bitch and moan about oh i didn't mean to pass it here i didn't pass it here i didn't do this i didn't do that um well now you can go back and like look and be like okay wait no i did pass it into that space so cool uh i did aim it into this space cool so that's exactly where it went i did pass it there cool um did a nice one two there i passed it perfectly forward here into the path of rashford awesome very happy with that i did all of that now, as you guys know, I feel like here I aimed it, low driven at the net. Which looks exactly, exactly perfectly aimed. Why is it not letting me, like, move around? See how I aim that, though? Versus Rashford's shot? So that was me perfectly aiming it into the corner. And look at where the actual shot versus where I aimed it went. So, of course... I still can't be mad at that because then you have to look at Rashford's finishing, you know, his composure, all of that other stuff probably played into the fact that he didn't score that. So I can't be mad about that. I did. What's nice is I can look back and say, you know, where the chat would be abusive saying, Nick, you suck. Clearly you aim that wide. At least I can look back and say, oh, cool. So I did everything right. But then Rashford just ended up missing it due to his stats or maybe the pressure from the defender or, or whatever it was. His shot stats though. Yeah, exactly. Oh my lord, Felicio. Fellaini. Antonio Valencia. Valencia. Oh, 
Masia. They could pose some danger now. That touch though! Oh, baby! And I love stuff like that. So the player movement and touches and stuff like that, um, I love as well. The little things where your players will take these like beautiful, such so realistic for the given situation touch into space, I like a lot. It makes the game feel so much more realistic. Even stuff like along the lines of just fake shots. Like fake shots, just like, they, there's like 40 different fake shot animations now. Instead of like the generic same that's offside, I think same one over and over again um like depending on your angle your player's skill uh they'll do different fake shots and stuff like that which is cool i like that a lot the cry of turn is horrendous if you don't time it right is it how do you do it exactly i think you have to have, is it five star skills only i mean it should be i don't know damn you know what i want to learn the johan johan cry of turn oh god Oh. What the hell is happening? Alright, so first half is done. Uh, still feel like I'm playing pretty well. Every player can do the turn. Really? Huh. And maybe you just do it cleaner depending on skill. Just like the Burba spin. Like if you're a 5 star skiller, the Burba spin is so clean and fast. If you're a 4 star skiller, it's a little bit wider and less clean um oh rashford's wow rashford with that injury though all right well let's make let's make you guys happy there we go get romero in there <clears throat> just done it with varan how, how do you do it uh the turn is a fake shot 180 degrees from your run wait that's it Manchester United with the second half now underway and they are leading. Oh, it is. Yo, man. I mean, I it's not that I don't like that, but I do wish they made that like an exclusive four-star or five-star skill. That's sick, though. I like that a lot, dude. You can, you'll be able to, like, as long as you time it right, you'll be able to melt people with that. Oh, wow. That's cool. Looks really good. I want to test it out with... Oh, God, that's cool. Oh, you bottled that. Greasy. Thank God. Okay, so let's try it with... Um, so, Eric Bailly does it no problem. Oh, God, Marcial. Oh, damn, dude. That is so satisfying to do. Holy, if you time it right. Okay. Um, let's give it to Anthony Marcial and just see if he does it cleaner. Oh wait, what? There we go. Or Pogba, I suppose. In this part of the pitch. Oh, he does though. He did do it yeah, faster. He did do it faster. He definitely executed it quicker. Let's give it to Pogba and see if it's even better with him. Uh, actually, I can't really tell the difference. Ref, that's a foul. <clears throat> How do you do that again? It's just a, literally a fake shot, but 180 degrees. So whereas before, they would just do the same boring ass. All right, so here's the free kicks. I still do not understand how to do them. Um, they feel so different than last year. So last year, you know how you'd like aim it really wide? And then like, as you're shooting, aim your analog stick for spin to the left. If you're not aiming it completely wide or down and like down into the left a little bit. It's different now, dudes. And I haven't figured it out yet. Let's try that. Like... Last year, that would go up and over the wall. Free kicks are still mad inconsistent. Yeah, but at least last year, I could get the free kick taker to do what I wanted him to do. Mourinho wasn't happy about that at all. Free kicks are just sporadic. Yeah. There we go. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position there. There we now. go. Fuck that. Um, let's show you guys the RB as well. So, like, obviously running forward, still the no touch. But then if you do... See that? Oh, that's awkward. So then same thing with RB. It's It ends up being the drag back. I like that. Simple things like that is just going to make playing the game easier to, to, like, start doing combos. I'm not, I'm not a skiller by any means. 
Oh! Uh, but I'd like to improve on that. I find skill moves way more effective this year, and that's still just playing the AI on Legendary. I feel like you'll be able to sell your opponents even better uh, when it comes to, like, foot champs and then manually defending. I really do think skill moves are going to cause people to want to break their uh, controllers with, like, how you get beat. Because, like, the AI will do an LTRT dribble, and I'll overcommit defensively to one way or the other. You know, the AI will do a fake shot, and I'll get sold on the fake shot. So imagine having to play someone like like Kazooie or someone that's just really good at skills or FIFA Raleigh or something like that like you're you're gonna it's gonna be really frustrating in a good way though I think skill moves need to be viable you need to be like um rewarded for being able to do tough stuff in FIFA that's a nice pass so is that Anthony Martial also I want to go back and show you guys this replay I'm sorry for going back to instant replays but just look at this like the the passing combo um between these dudes i love it like the y pass now actually works the way you want it to i pressed y there you see that see how i played that like the the, the pass into those spaces i liked that doing and i did it here with the y pass as well i just tapped the y pass barely into open space even as a back heel and he actually plays it into the open space you're aiming to not like fifa 17 where your player will just hammer it up the field like here with pogba if this was fifa 17 my Y ball would go right into the defender. Even though I'm aiming it into that gap, last year, your defender would just, or your player would just smash the Y pass at the defender nonsensically. So they've also fixed that very, very nicely this year, uh, where Y passes seem to ha make a hell of a lot more sense. Um, oh, and there you go. There's the insta sub. So you hold RT, you press A, confirm it with A again, and then boom. Uh, the next screen should have the substitution. There you go. <laughs> um rb is the same as r1 yeah yeah playstation is i yeah I'm, I'm xbox right so i'm 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 used to like describing things with xbox controls so there you go that i didn't press b or anything there but just holding lt and closing the player down uh will still cause you to take the ball away that's good movement forward here okay that was weird oh my god all right speaking of passing it incorrectly that was insane Okay, so I think Atletico has gone on to aggressive now. I'm poor, okay. What would be the right situation? I guess maybe a Burba spin into space there would have been nice. As opposed to anything else. We've silenced the crowd, at least. Even though I thought I was at Old Trafford. We've got two added minutes. So, RBA... How is RBA actually in comparison? Yeah, it's still good. good movement. They're getting forward here still good. United. It's a pass, another pass. See that bit of LT work? Oh! Yo, I hate to go to the instant replay again, but I want to look at that. I'm sorry, dudes. Um, okay, so right here. That little bit of uh, LT RT work. I feel like last year wasn't really something you could do very well. Right here, with the, where the defender like overcommitted, I just did a little LT to the right, I believe. So I tapped LT and then moved to the right. Whoop! Dude, that right there is so satisfying to do. And again, I feel like with manual defending this year, little things like that where you're rewarded in knowing that your opponent is over committing on the tackle, whether you're holding RB even, and you just do a drag back into that space, or like I did with the LT into that space, or a ball roll into that space, I feel like you're going to be a hell of a lot more rewarded with like good attacking play. Whether or not you score is going to be up to another 20,000 different uh, factors, but I just like the little stuff that they put into the game, man, and oh, baby. The launch of FIFA 18 can't come soon enough. We are officially a week away, my dudes. That was awful. So predictable. <clears throat> so, anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Um, I think I'm probably going to end it all there. I think that might be the last bit of FIFA 18 stuff until the actual game comes out. Um, I just can't imagine myself grinding through the demo endlessly now i've got like a feel for the game i think i've played about 30 games now on the on the demo which is quite literally about 15 times more games than i played on the fifa 17 demo we i think we barely got through two games on the fifa 17 demo and i was like dude the gameplay is so trash let's hope that the fifa 17 full game is better 
really wasn't actually now that we've had a year of experience with fifa 17 um and i have the exact opposite feeling with fifa 18. i am so happy and so pleasantly surprised with the demo usually you play the demo and you're like it's not great but we all say oh it's an early build it's gonna be nothing like the game um and then it turns out that the game is pretty similar to what the demo is like uh, if the game is anything like the demo, I will be very, very pleasantly surprised. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, but it's offline. It's on normal speed. It's not on the fast speed like Ultimate Team is. I get that. I get we're going to have a lot of stuff that's going to work um, against keeping us happy going into FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. But as of right now, I'm just happy. And uh, I hope you guys are as excited as I am for the launch of FIFA 18.